Got to take the socks off real quick. It gets hot when you film. What's up guys, it's your boy Sean and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five things you need to start creating content right now. Before we get started, I just wanna put out a quick disclaimer. I am not a professional in any way, shape or form. I am just an average guy, average dad, average husband. I like tech, I'm a consumer, just like probably many of you. And so all of these points are 100% opinion based. It's just my experience, my success, and failure with these top five. And it's my goal by sharing these, hopefully you learn something along the way, or it's something you haven't thought of before that maybe you can put into use. You might have had similar experiences. You might disagree with these top five points. Please don't kill me. They're just opinion based. If you agree or disagree, or you have something to add, drop it in the comment section below. I'd love to see what you guys think. But let's get into it, let's get into it, it's time, let's go, let's freaking go baby, let's get started. Number one, let's get into it, is your smartphone, okay? Let's face it, many of you are probably watching this video from your smartphone or it's within the arm's reach away from you and I'm telling you right now, your smartphone is more than enough to start creating content. In today's generation, most smartphones come with 1080p minimum with 4K becoming the new standard, which is more than enough resolution power to start creating videos. Many of these phones have 24, 30, 60, or even 120 frames per second, which is a great addition if you pay all that money for a smartphone. But then again, most of the time when you're watching content on social media platforms, you're watching it at 1080p anyways. And so that's more than enough. If you have the luxury to film in 4K, that's great. But just remember this, most people that stumble across your videos probably aren't gonna stay locked in watching that video because of the production value. It is the content, the message, and what you're delivering through your content that's gonna get people to stay, subscribe, and continue watching. Reason this is number one is because I struggled with the concept of needing the biggest, baddest, latest, trendiest pieces of gear. A few years ago when I started my YouTube channel, I saved up some money and I went out and bought the Canon M50. Amazing entry level camera. Don't get me wrong, it's great, I still have it. It's back there somewhere. I still use it pretty regularly. But the point I wanna make is I purchased that camera didn't really do a lot of research. I ended up getting the camera and I was super intimidated with it. Didn't really know how to work it. Didn't know how to get the quality image that I want. Didn't really know too much about shutter speed, aperture, any of that stuff. I spent weeks and months trying to figure out how to use it. Spent money on buying additional lenses and I couldn't get the quality or image that I had in my head. I couldn't get the camera to produce it. And so long story short, I had an iPhone in my pocket. I could have just pulled that out and started making content. And so the amount of time that I wasted trying to figure out how to use this camera was time that I could have been putting in to practice, to start shooting, to start scripting and seeing what it was like to start the creative process. So if you're like myself who thinks you need the biggest, baddest and most trendiest pieces of equipment, you absolutely don't. You may not need the rest of this list if we're being honest. If you start with your smartphone, you might find that you can create a lot of the content you probably are already wanting to create right now. Number two, tripod or gimbal, okay? So we're gonna put an asterisk out there right now. I am not influencing or telling you guys where to spend your money or what to spend or what to buy, anything like that. Now, a tripod is old reliable in terms of you know what you're gonna get, you can find them super cheap, and they're pretty dependable. A tripod's gonna give you the ability to get static, stable shots. You can use it for photography. Some tripods, you can fold them up, reduce their size, use them handheld, they kind of act like a gimbal. Super versatile, but they do the basics very well. If you're looking to go mobile all the way for creating your content, you might wanna invest into getting a gimbal. I'm not sponsored or promoting this company by any means, this is purely my experience with them, but DJI makes an amazing smartphone gimbal. I do have one of their drones as well, and so I can vouch for their products, high quality, reliable, and they often come with their own software that's super intuitive and easy to use. Start off with a tripod. If you find that you wanna start creating more vlog style shots, you wanna get out and move and want more versatility, definitely look at the DJI Osmo 6, especially if you're gonna be primarily focusing on mobile content. Number three, 
Asterisk stays up for this one as well, but number three is audio and lighting. All right, super simple guys. If they can't see you, they can't hear you, they're probably not gonna stick around to watch the rest of your video. It's that simple. Now, audio and lighting is key, but it's not really key. What am I talking about? Most of the time when I go on to watch YouTube, I'm going on because I'm asking a question or I'm looking for something or there's a particular style or genre of content that I like watching. Most of the time when I go on and watch those videos, I'm not watching it because of the production value. I'm watching it for the content itself, the message or the value that's actually in the content. So think of it this way. If you have a message and you have content that you want to share with people, what are you going to need? They're going to need to be able to hear the content and they're going to need to be able to see the content. And so that doesn't mean that you have to break the bank to get the most expensive pieces of equipment. Most of the time, I have no idea what a content creator is using to make their video unless I jump in the comments in the description and they have it listed there. I stay to the end of the video because I like the content. And so I say all that to say this light that I have right here, I've had for about four years. I've been using the Blue Yeti microphone for about two or three. I've been using it for conference calls. I used it when I streamed. It's a phenomenal, reliable mic and it's cheap and you can find it anywhere. I have a lamp back there that I got from Walmart and then I have some fairly cheap RGB lights that I've collected over time that I use to accent and add some more depth to my video. It wasn't until I actually took time to kind of master my space and my office and take some time to really set up my lights that I was able to maximize their full potential. I didn't need to spend a ton of extra money to get more expensive lights to get this look. I'm happy with this look. It may evolve over time, but I'm working with what I have right now. Number four, baby, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Number four is software. After you're done recording the video, you're gonna need something to edit that video with, and that's where software comes in. Now, personally, here's where it gets super opinion-based. I'm an Apple guy, so I would suggest iMovie or Final Cut Pro. iMovie comes pre-installed on most Apple products, so if you'll be shooting on your iPhone or your iPad, most likely you're gonna have iMovie on there, which gives you the flexibility to edit on the go. If you have a MacBook of some sort, iMovie on, is on there as well. And again, it's free. I don't know what you've heard, but we're in a recession. So if you can get stuff for free, save some money, do it. Trust me. However, if you don't care about saving money and you don't really have any respect for your wallet, you can go with Adobe. Adobe is really expensive. And so if you want to go the subscription route, Adobe Suite and Cloud of Products, great. I've tried it for a little bit. I got the student discount. I paid the regular price. Super expensive. And again, it was really intimidating and I didn't really use those products to their fullest potential. Ease of use came into play for me and because I have Apple products, iMovie and Final Cut Pro are just what I've pivoted to and are my go-to choices for software. There's also other software as well. I don't know a ton because I don't do too much mobile editing. My hands are ginormous, absolutely huge. They're massive, okay? And so doing anything on my phone or my tablet for a long period of time, super tedious, super irritating. So I don't do a ton of mobile editing. But I've heard there's apps like LumaFusion and CapCut, which is really popular now with TikTok and Instagram. And so if you like mobile editing, there's a wide variety of apps to choose from. If you're on Windows or PC, you've got Adobe. There's also a new challenger that's entering into the game. That's DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve as well has a free version. So if you're interested in that, check that one out. If you really love DaVinci Resolve and it helps your workflow, you can upgrade to their studio version, which I think costs about $2.99 right now. And so again, no asterisks here. There's tons of free options. I wouldn't suggest purchasing any paid software or subscription-based software right now, unless you absolutely have to. There's tons of free options that allow you to hit the ground running and start creating content right now. And number five, baby, I'm so juiced. I'm so juiced for number five. But first, I wanna thank everybody who's made it this far in the video. This is a long one's hefty. We've been going over a lot of stuff. And so I appreciate you sticking to the end of this video. If you've made it this far, go ahead and smash the like button for your boy. Smash that like button. I'll give you a second. Smash that thing. Hopefully you smashed. It's greatly appreciated and does wonders for the channel. Now let's get back into it. So number five, if you stuck around this long, this is the one you're waiting for. This is the most, let me say this. Let me create a little silence here for you set the tone for this one. This is the most important, which is why it's the last one on the list. I'll give you a second to guess what it might be. 
What do you think it might be? You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. You don't need that. But what you do need is confidence. All right, so transparency time here, okay? If you don't have confidence, if you don't believe in yourself, if you're not passionate, you're gonna fail before you start. Let's just get that out there right now. If you don't have confidence, turn this video off. Well, subscribe first, then to turn this video off and just go do whatever it is you were doing before you wound up on this video. Because if you don't have confidence, you're not gonna succeed, not just in this content creation field, but in anything. If you have goals and things that you wanna accomplish, if you don't have confidence, you're probably not gonna get up out of bed and be consistent enough to go out and achieve those. And the reason number five is on this list for me is I still currently struggle with confidence. Believe it or not, I do. I get it. One of the reasons why I created this channel while I'm back on YouTube is I wanna look fear in the face and I wanna become more confident. Some of the areas where I struggle in confidence are professionally at work, at home in my marriage, being a new parent. There's just so many day-to-day -day things where my confidence is tested all the time. And the one thing I can say from taking these challenges head on is if you don't have confidence to start, you're not gonna learn. You have to start before you can learn, before you can grow, before you can get to the next level. I do wanna take a quick side note right now while we're talking about confidence. If confidence for you is more than just being camera shy, you're worried about what people are gonna say about you or how your voice sounds, if it's bigger than that for you, if you struggle with anxiety, depression, self-esteem, I want you to drop a prayer emoji in the comment section below. I would love to pray for you when I'm off cam. Having some experience in the mental health field, I do have a little bit of knowledge of how important mental health is to everyday life, and so I don't wanna take that lightly. As I talk about confidence, I realize for some of you, it's bigger than just turning on the camera and pressing record and starting to create content. It's something where you might need accountability and you might need more additional support. And I just wanna let you know that I recognize that. Confidence, gotta have it, can't get far without it. And I truly believe with anything that you do, we'll keep it in perspective of content creation, but if you don't have confidence, you're not gonna start and you're not gonna see yourself grow and you're probably not gonna start creating the content that you want to create, that you envision yourself creating. So I encourage you, dig deep, find some confidence, maybe find an accountability partner while you're on this journey. I know that I have one uh, professionally for my marriage, spiritually. Accountability partners are huge. They help keep you in check, but you can also bounce ideas and anxieties off of and have someone there to push you along the way. So definitely, if that's something for you, look for an accountability partner, you might find some extreme value in that. But that's it guys, that's all I really have for you. That is my top five things you need to start creating content right now. Use your smartphone, invest in a tripod or gimbal, get some cheap audio and lighting, find yourself some free software, and get some confidence. Once you find that confidence, there's nothing that's gonna stop you. Get out there, press record, go create some content. Until next time, be blessed. Peace. See you in the next video.